Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the Direwolf 20 mod pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. And we are, well, I'm starting over here because it's rather noisy over at my place. It's time for a little bit of a tour, okay? I haven't done too much off camera. I'm holding back a little bit because, um, well, it's just so much fun to play this pack. But let's turn around here and then let's put back on our clothes there we go okay so you can see we've got some uh, some what sugar maple okay so i've planted that and then i have started a little farm over here and you can see we're growing a lot of the in, uh, immersive engineering stuff we've got a zombie hanging out somewhere some little cave that's close to the surface and um yeah anyway we're gonna have to go caving at some point but not quite yet. We've got some other plans in place. You can hear some of the uh, noise and the source of the noise here. Um, and I'm going to take you on a tour of that, but I'm just going to do a quick harvest uh, along here and show you, you know, what we've been up to. Okay, so yeah, not um, not too much on the farm there. Just a lot of stuff that you're going to need, uh, you know, to start off. And then over here, you can see I've done some collecting of animals and it is a loud mess. And we've got some chickens over here. Not too many of those. Let's take a look right here. They're just filling up. I've got them sitting on a hopper. Kind of a vanilla thing to do, but hey, it works. Okay, so over here, um, we got to take care of that racket. Okay, so first let's put away some things here and put away that. Okay. I am going to make a couple of note blocks, okay? And then I'm gonna put these next to that white wool right there. And I'm gonna make a couple of sound modifiers, or sound mufflers, and we're gonna see if this works. Okay, that helps. And ah, now we can think. Okay, so let's come over here. Of course, that also muffles the sound of the door, but that's fine. Over here, um, well, I did say off camera I was going to get settled back in, and so I have. We've got the Coke oven that is fully uh, fully constructed, and it's almost full of creosote oil. And then we've got some room in the tank here, so let's grab that real quick, shall we? Uh, let's put that, and uh, not there, there, okay. And then we should be able to fill that up. Yeah, it's not quite full. I mean, hmm. Maybe this will do it. Yeah, now that's full. Okay. All right. All right. So that's that's good. And those animals are taken care of. We've got our, our smelter, or what is it? Grinder, a crusher, and furnace set up right there. And so that's working. Um, and then I think what we want to do next is I wanted to bring you along for this. I'm going to make a stone mattock. I was using just a regular vanilla Minecraft hoe for all of that, but I decided to bring you along for making this. So stone mattock, I don't know what all it can do, but there, we've got one and it's made out of stone so we can repair it with cobblestone. Bob, your uncle. All right. So our next order of business, what are we going to do? Well, I want to first get into creating the cooking for blockheads um, uh, multi-block structure. Okay, so that's something you'll see it. It's something that goes along with Pam's Harvest Craft. And the way you get started with it is by uh, smelting a book, oddly enough. So Pam's Harvest Craft, you've got all these neat recipes for different types of food. Let's see if we can pull it up here. Um, one of the things I want to try is take a look at Beef Wellington. So this is from Pam's Harvest Craft, and it just gives you a lot of different recipes. To, you know, we're kind of used to the standard foods from, from vanilla Minecraft. I want to try and avoid that. Since we are in modded, I'm going to try and use modded food items. So uh, Beef Wellington is usually a go-to for me, but I've also, you know, we had a discussion on Discord the other day uh, here on uh, for the Direwolf 20 uh, dadcraft server, I guess. I, I don't know. We don't have a name, but uh, maybe I should ask about that. We were talking about some Chinese food, and I thought we had General So's chicken. Yeah, General So's chicken. And that uh, give you 15 
15 on that and a bunch of hunger haunches and how about versus beef wellington well that's a lot better and it's fairly cheap but we don't have spinach yet okay so that's fairly cheap general so's chicken is certainly more interesting but look at that it is oh and and a wild trekker has has gone or is getting ready to go which is probably good because it's almost 2 a.m over there so this is a much more involved recipe who knows who knows we will see about doing that but first things first we need a cooking for blockheads book and then we need to take this and put it right there yes it's rather expensive but we get cooking for blockheads too okay and then we're going to put that right here and that gives us the cooking table okay and then we're going to get an oven and then we're going to get a couple of fridges and then we're going to get a sink and we'll get the bucket back excellent and what house is complete uh, without a kitchen okay so we'll put the cooking table there sink right there we'll do the oven right next to the sink and then we'll do the fridge there you know what maybe let's put the cooking table or let's put the fridge there in the corner and the cooking table right next to that of course our work triangle is going to be rather cramped but sink right there and cooking table right there and then we've got access to all of this stuff and then we can take our food items and just throw them in what what if we had a kitchen or a cabinet of some form let's see if we can bring that up i have no idea what it might require but let's see we've got kitchen counter kitchen corner sink fridge cooking table okay it looks like it's a massive multi-block structure toaster um no use in particular stores ingredients for recipes that's going to take some terracotta some chiseled stone and a chest so what if we got do we have some more clay yes i want to make two of those so we'll need 10 pieces of that and we'll get that cooking right there while we work on the rest do we have any more stone not looking so hot right there um we might need to cook up some more cobblestone as well so that's going right now we can make one of the counters right like that and then we'll make a couple of chests and where is that right there okay and then the next order of business after we make our 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 full kitchen setup we're going to get into the smeltery yes yes it's time for the smeltery okay so we can do this yep so we got a counter okay and then we should be able to okay we're still waiting on it we need some speed upgrades stat okay so let's get that going these item ducks take their sweet time okay we just need one of these okay not that that's for another project not right now and we'll make another one of these counters and there we go and then what we can do is we'll put that up there and then we should be able to access everything that's a food item um well let's see toast we can do wheat okay and well we'll just put a few things in there for now let's store all this uh what else let's grab that and i'm not going to use any of this stuff right now because we need to plant it in in our garden but we can do that and that and let's just throw this in the counter okay so like so and like so there we go and then if we go over here see that and it just shows you everything you can make from the ingredients that are in the multi-block and then another side benefit of this sink is that we can grab a water bucket from it whenever we need to okay so right there i don't know how how much that fills up or if it even fills up who knows anyway that's pretty exciting and we can worry about uh, getting all that settled a little later okay 
So I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. We will get some eggs. Let's do this here. Grab, grab some of those. And there we go. Now, point of note, I did say this was a rather ugly building. It is. And we've continued it. But it's what we got for now. So sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So please forgive me for that. But it's, it's just what we got. All right. So sleep a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is go into here. Okay. And we're going to grab all of this stuff right here. And, and then we'll grab this stuff as well. And we'll worry about making some of this other stuff in just a moment. And what we need to do is knock this stuff out because this is where our smeltery is going to be, uh, or at least our interface for it, right here. Okay, nobody waiting for, uh, for it to hijack me. Good, okay. So what we need right here is to grab that. And how are we going to do this? Okay, so we need we need to dig out a spot for where this whole thing is going to go. Okay, um, and I know I know that we don't have to do this. It's probably a little bit of a waste, but I like that right there. As I don't see any. No, nobody's around. Okay, uh, I just get a little little antsy if there's uh, nighttime. So then what we do is we'll dig this out as well. And so we're going to do a, just a basic smeltery. You've seen these before, but I'm doing it on camera with you like so. Okay. And then uh, we'll have the controller right here. And then um, <laughs> No, we'll go up one layer right like that. And we'll do the the drain right there. Yeah, so we can come off the side there. Yeah, okay. And then the controller we'll do right there. Okay. And then this is where it will get kind of interesting, where it doesn't quite work with our multi-block right there. But right there, this spot is where I'm going to put the blast furnace eventually and then we don't have much room out that way so this is what we're stuck with maybe what we can do hmm <laughs> is put no 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 we're gonna keep that there and then we will put our um, our tank right here and then we can just fill up the rest of this like so. Okay, and that should show up as a valid smeltery. And we'll just do this so that we have plenty, plenty of space. And then bring up F4, make OBS go nuts with that. And there we go. Okay, okay, good. All right, so we'll go back around, go in here, turn off the overlay, wait for that, and there we go. All right, so what I want to do is tear out this wall, and then we've got some lava right here, okay? We're going to put that... Um, we're going to put that right there. Now, the downside with that is I was under the impression that this thing can be, that's accept, provide. Okay, so we'll do that and hopefully it gets placed down. Okay, do we have any lava going in? No lava going in. Okay. What if we did, um, well, let's just do this. We've got fluid ducts right here. Okay. And we'll grab the tool forge as well. So you can see how that goes. And then I've got a servo 
We've got a few right here. What we'll do is we'll put the tank right there and then we'll take our fluid duct and put it right like that. And is this going to, that's going to provide there. And then we'll take the servo and we should be getting fuel anything. No, it's not. Oh, you know what? I need to check this and ignore. There we go. Okay, so we got lava going into our tank from there. And that took up a lot of it, almost half. Well, yeah, four buckets in that tank. All right, so that's taken care of. And then the next order of business is we need to pull this out. And then that's going to get annoying for right now. So let's, um, we'll leave that for now. All right, and then over here, we need a... Uh, yeah, we're going to do this and this, and then we'll take one of these chests and put it right there. And then we'll do hopper. Okay. And then a hopper. Excellent. Then we take casting basin. We'll put that right there. And then a casting table right there. And then we'll take our faucets. Boom, boom. Okay. And then we can fill back in with our maple slab. And there we go. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's a big problem. Um, fluid ducts blow up with with high high heats. So I, I did not quite realize that. Let's see if we can get close okay hmm that means we need uh, we need something different okay well um I I that that um, did not quite go as I had planned uh, I had not well anyway I'm I'm a little out of sorts at this point. Let's try, how does this do? Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll do this as accept. And we'll put servo right there. Ignore, it should be able to pull creosote out of there. But we won't know yet. Um, how did this go down some? We'll see if this thing blows up and throws creosote all over the place. But we've got plenty of lava in our smeltery now. We have just lost a little bit. Um, but we need to get some things going. So first and foremost, we need to make some bronze. And we need to put in some gold. Um, because, yeah, let's... That thing got me all discombobulated. Um, so what are we doing? What, did I put down... I put it down out here. Okay. Let's grab this and this and this and the materials in you, and we'll come back for in a bit for the, the immersive engineering storage crate. And what I want to do is I need, or I want to get some gold going so that we can make some plates. Okay, so um, I don't know how much we're going to need for that, but we do need to make a few few items here so um we need to go to the stencil no part builder and we're going to throw some of that in and i've made some notes about different things that i've got some post-it notes here on my desk you can hear me moving them around i've made some notes about what we need to make here and so the uh, first order i should be able to just do part builder yeah i can do that here yeah so we've got tough tool rod we need to make that into a something or other. Let's let's get rid of some of the junk in our inventory here. Do that and that. Okay. And then we'll take this, put it right there. Do we have gold smelted? Yes, so we can do that. And then that should give us our cast. 
And then we also need the head. Okay, so we'll do this one. Okay. And then plate. And then... Oh, we also need the lumber axe head. Okay. And then anything else? We need knife blade. Yeah, stone sword blade. And then handle. Um, this one. Okay, so we're going to make a few of these plates here. And then we're going to make a bunch, a bunch of items. Okay, so uh, let's do this one next. How much do we have? We got one ingot left. So we need to put probably a few more of these things in there. Okay. And, and then we'll get started on some of the other items. Um, well, this isn't going to take too long to smelt down. So let's just get that going right now. Let's make a pattern chest so we can store our, our items here. Do this and this this okay yeah there we go we'll store the casts in this thing for now um we'll just chuck it right there there we go okay and then we've got plenty of gold in here we'll do this all right and that gets us the hammerhead cast and next you notice that it also takes this item so that's why i use cobblestone we got plenty of cobblestone we can just throw it away no problem and we'll do this one as well. And we'll throw these in here. And there. Okay, we should have that. Okay. All right, so we've got some gold in here. Is there anything else that we need to make? So blade, the regular tool rod, the tough tool rod. Um, we've got the overall plate, got the lumber axe head. Um, you know what? A, uh, one of these would be very useful for the future. So we'll do that. And that'll be the last plate that we do for the time being. What we're going to do is start making a hammer because I want to get into a little bit more efficient of, oh, I forgot one thing. A little bit more efficient mining. So let's see a couple more gold ingots, right? Like so. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do a hammer and we're gonna mix up, we've got a few different things that I have already done all of the research for. How's this gonna go? We've been recording for almost 20 minutes already. I don't know, we're gonna get this done. So well, let's hurry up and do this. Okay, so we got that. And I want to make some Electrum. And we're going to make an Electrum plate. And then we're also going to make a bunch of paper. Okay. Bunch of paper. Um, and yeah, so we need this. Let's just go for three stacks for now. And we need to make um, a paper plate. Okay. And then uh, another one of those. And then a paper guard. So this one? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be for our, um, our sword. So we're going to do a sword. And you know what? It might be best if we brought this guy back in here to hold all of our stuff. Okay. That did work scared me for a bit and come over here chuck down our tool forge and then this thing and we'll throw all our parts in for now like that okay so we've got some electrum and we're going to pour an electrum plate we've got a paper plate and then we're going to throw in some copper once this is all poured out okay so that's going, we'll chuck that copper in there. Okay. And so we should have an Electrum large plate. 
And then, is there anything else? I'm gonna need uh, the plate for no. So we'll throw that in there. Come over here, throw that in there. And we've got copper, plenty of copper. We're gonna need a copper hammerhead, like so. How many does that take? Uh, I forgot to check. And we're also going to need a copper broad axe head. The reason I'm using copper is that it gives you a little bit of XP as you're doing whatever it is with the tool. The Electrum that I just did, it's going to give us something called Shocking, which I don't quite know what it does in terms of the damage, but it has a really high durability. So we're going to do that. Okay. We'll make a Lumber Axe as well. And then we're going to get into bronze uh no we need copper of the, this tool rod do we have any more copper in here no more copper how much does that take one so we need one copper ingot and we'll do that chuck that in okay that takes a while and we still have plenty of plenty of fuel in there so no problem that with that and we'll throw that in and then the tough tool rod we'll need a bronze and we'll need two of those okay copper is melted up and then we can start getting the bronze going and with that tough tool rod okay so we've got three parts here We'll chuck those in like so. And, and we'll even throw the materials and U-book in there. And it looks like we're going to have to... Uh, where did that go? Not that one. I'll get it right eventually. We'll throw that up there. And the tough tool rod. We need to make two of those. Okay. I don't know how... How, many, or how much that takes. We got two ingots worth. Hmm. Well, do any of these take two? We'll make one of these and then we can always smelt it back down later. Okay. So next order of business. Um, this part I'm not, not quite sure about. We need to make an obsidian blade and we can't quite do that with what we got right now we're going to uh, do this how many does that take it takes two we'll do that and then we should be able to make uh, okay yep okay and then we'll take some more like so and then we'll take water and lava mix it in there and it's going to make obsidian and then we can take our faucet and there we go it should work yep okay bronze pickaxe head and there we go all right so we're going to be making a couple of tools real quick and then we're going to call it a day my my okay so we'll come over to the tool forge real quick we're going to make the hammer and that's the copper head, bronze tough tool rod. Okay, we're gonna take one of these paper plates, put it right there, and then we're gonna take this Electrum large plate. Boom, what does it get? Okay, attack is 3.7, not, not the best. Mining speed, 2.31. We got four modifiers, durability of 505. Uh, attack speed is pretty good, but the attack damage is not so good. Mining level, we'll need to increase that. But we're going to make that and then we'll go to the lumber axe and we'll put that on paper and that and then a tough binding what are we going to make the binding out of paper binding i didn't make the binding so let's come over here tough binding there we go is this correct lumber axe right there and we got five modifiers mining speed of 1.02 that's not the best, but five modifiers, we can increase that. And we'll do the sword real quick. Little sword right there. 
obsidian, paper, copper tool rod. And there we go. Attack damage. Uh, it's all right. 6.17, but we got four modifiers, so we can increase that. So we will be giving up the stone sword. We will go retire that over here. And we will put this in place. And now we've got lumber axe. Okay, so let's go try this out. Is it almost nighttime? That did not work. Hmm. Well, that worked. Okay. So maybe it, it just all depends on on what part of the tree you hit. But that's certainly going to be an increase in efficiency. So there we go. Replant. And let's try this again. Okay, so it doesn't get everything. But we can do two chops. Okay, so the mineral trees is not the best on. But hey, it's something. So that's going to be a lot more efficient. Which is pretty cool. And as far as the hammer, uh, let's see how, how bad the... The damages i've got i've got one spot over here that i can check uh not quite what i wanted to do let's come over here real quick okay that was a surprise and there we go okay so it's not the fastest we will need to throw some um throw some redstone on it but Certainly, certainly a lot faster than just a single pick at one time. All right, so all in all, not too shabby. We uh, got into the cooking for blockheads mod and also Tinker's Construct got that going. Um, we also found out that we can't use that fluid duct for lava. We need to go up a level. Let's see what we can do there at, uh, well, let's... Let's just do fluid duct. I should have thought about that when I saw this. Will break if contents are extremely hot or cold. So there we go. I need to go up to the hardened side. So let's take a look at that. Well, that's not too bad. Invar and lead. Okay. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, trip into... Um, into tinkers i certainly enjoyed putting this together and um hey if you got any questions about what i've done here feel free to ask in the comment section down below but uh but yeah that's going to be it for now thank you so much for watching if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel that's going to be it for now again thank you for watching thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to share and uh means means a lot so until next time we will see you later Bye-bye.